Good afternoon. This is Kevin Craney with RJO Futures with your afternoon financial market update. Uh, the market's trading a little lower here on the day after uh, all the exuberance last week from the, the Q quantitative easing program. You see commodities selling off really across the board as well. When we look at bond yields uh, actually ticking up just a, uh, a little bit higher here on, on the day too. Uh, really, what are we looking at this week? We have a lot of Fed speak that will be coming out. Uh, it'll be interesting to hear what the uh, Federal Reserve heads have to say uh, with their assessment of the economy, given the meeting that occurred last week and the, and the results uh, from the quantitative easing program. So I think the market will certainly be listening to what all of the Fed heads have to say this week. We do have some economic news coming out this weekend as, or this week as well. Um, Thursday is going to be the big day. Tomorrow is rather quiet. Uh, we do get housing starts on Wednesday, which will certainly be something that the market will pay attention to from a housing standpoint. We'll be looking uh, to see if we can continue to hold some of this support after the quantitative easing or if this isn't just a little bit of uh, profit taking after all of that. So I would look for some sideways trade here potentially for the next few days, interest rates to hold steady as we continue to assess the environment and listen to what the Fed heads have to say with their assessment of the economy and what things are going to be doing as we move forward. Please give me a call at 888-596-5817 and we can discuss these interest rate opportunities as well as commodity opportunities. As always, remember futures trading is not suitable for everyone and does carry a high degree of risk.